So today I have a story that I've never shared before about how a very close friend of mine beat hair loss without any hair transplants, without any kind of weird aggressive treatments. He just beat hair loss. And I'm gonna tell you in this video exactly how he did it. So roll back a few years uh, when I was doing my pharmacist training. I've just graduated from university and I was doing my um, first year of training. And I worked with this guy, um, this is several years ago, and um, I noticed that he was um, kind of losing it a little bit, uh, especially on the crown and a little bit here. You could kind of see through to his scalp and I thought nothing of it. Um, I thought, you know, so what? He's a, he's a young guy, I think at the time he was in his mid-twenties. I said, all right, a little bit early to lose, to lose your hair, but you know, whatever. But I was really careful mentioning anything about his hair because I noticed he was really sensitive. He was very self-conscious about it. So I never even cracked any jokes about his hair. That was just a complete no-go zone. So we became very good friends, you know, away from work. But after about a year of meeting him, I started to notice that he was growing his hair. His hair was a bit longer. And I could see that his uh, thin spot, especially on the crown, was starting to, to disappear. It was still there, but it was definitely a lot more it filled up. And because I knew he was really sensitive about his hair, I never mentioned anything. I thought maybe it just looks thicker because he, he put on like, I don't know, hair fibers or something like that. Um, but then after the second year, third year, his hair just became thicker and thicker and longer. And I thought to myself, how is he doing it? There's no way that he would have had a hair transplant because, you know, I, I, mean, I see the guy almost every month. We go, we go to eat together once or twice a month. So I would have known if he had gone abroad or even in the UK, if he had a hair transplant, I would have known. And because, you know, I was in the industry as well. This was an area of my, yeah, an area of interest for me. But after several years, I plucked up the courage and I was like, dude, um, I'm not gonna reveal his, his real name, but let's call him Rick. I said, Rick, come on, man. Your hair is looking really thick. What's going on? Um, I'm pretty sure you were losing your hair when I first when I first met you. What are you doing? Are you, are you, are you wearing like hair stuff? Are you wearing like fibers? Uh, what are you doing? Are you applying treatment? Where is it? Spill the beans. And he was really cagey for a couple of weeks. He just kept saying like brushing me off and saying like, yeah, no, no, it's just grown back. It's fine. It was, uh, I was never going bold, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, come on, man. You're not gonna fly that past me. Come on, tell me. What have you done to your hair? Eventually he cracked. And he told me that he discovered he had some sort of a vitamin deficiency. So he paid hundreds of pounds. Uh, to be honest, I never realized getting tested for vitamins was that expensive, but he, he literally spent hundreds of pounds to get tested for every single vitamin. And they discovered that he was deficient in um, three or four uh, different vitamins. And he showed me this product that he's been using some sort of a vitamin concoction that he bought uh, himself over the internet. And he said, yeah, I spent so many months getting tested for these vitamins, and then I discovered I'm deficient in vitamins. So when I took a vitamin supplement, my hair grew back. I must admit, up until this point, uh, I never really rated vitamins as a potential solution for hair loss. I've always thought that, you know, it's something you do right at the end when you've covered everything else, when you've tried Rogaine and all that stuff. And then at the end, if you if you have enough money left, then yeah, maybe buy a decent brand of multivitamins. But when I saw his results, this has completely changed my mind. And I went back to do some research to find out, you know, what is going on with these vitamins? Are they really that important in hair loss? And it turns out they are really, really, really important for hair loss, especially certain vitamins like biotin and zinc and vitamin D, actually being deficient in them can actually trigger hair loss. But what I didn't expect is that the type of hair loss that he had, to me looked like classic male pattern baldness. It was kind of right on the top on the, on the crown and just behind the hairline, it looked classic male pattern baldness. And I was like, I wonder if, if he had these kind of results, I wonder how many other people who are, you know, maybe rushed to a hair transplant, who maybe uh, rushed to kind of more invasive and expensive treatments, who could have kept a lot more of their hair or regrew more hair by simply fixing any vitamin deficiencies they have lurking in the background. And this is the number one reason why I personally take a good multivitamin brand and I advise everybody to combine 
uh, whatever they're taking, whether it's Rogaine or Propecia or uh, whatever else, or microneedling, always have that multivitamin. It needs to be part of your regimen. Every single successful hair transplant I've personally seen are people who were serious about taking a good quality multivitamin. It's really underrated and you're really doing yourself a disservice if you are not taking this easy box to take. And of course, I'm biased when I say that the one, the multivitamin brand I recommend is Foligrow because it's specifically made for hair loss and hair regrowth. It's not just a general multivitamin. That's no good, but obviously I'm biased. You are more than welcome to go and research your own brand and find the brand that suits you, but just take some sort of a multivitamin or if you don't want to take a multivitamin, go and spend hundreds of pounds getting tested for every single vitamin just to make sure that you are not deficient in something.